So the topic now is um, tips for your visa interview. Um, <clears throat> some of this might sound really, really basic and common sense, uh, and some of it might not. Um, the most, really the most uh, important thing is um, tell as much information as possible and uh, don't, of course, don't lie, but also don't hold back on the truth. The more honest and forthcoming you are, um, the, it will make the, the, the visa process go better and uh, it will make it go faster. So that's one. Um, <clears throat> probably the next biggest tip, and this is, sounds kind of um, silly because it's really, really hard to do, but um, try not to appear too, too nervous. I know it's going to be really, really hard, um, but um, there, the officer is there is to just to make sure that you are not going to be a threat to the United States and that you're financially stable in order to study. And as long as you can show those two things as best you can, uh, it will be fine. Um, yes, every officer is a little bit different. Some might make you feel more comfortable and others less comfortable. But if you um, try not to appear too nervous, um, that's probably the, the, the best thing I could tell you. One more thing as well, too, is uh, eye contact. And in the United States, um, looking someone while you're speaking to them is a sign of respect. Uh, and in terms of the officer, it also shows that you're confident and that you're not lying. So if you can look at the officer directly in the eye and speak with him, uh, him or her, then that's going to that's going to take you a long way. Um, if he asks, if he or she asks you a question that you're not sure if you understood or you don't know, um, be ask the officer, could you repeat the question? I wasn't sure what you meant. Or um, and if you don't know something, it's better to just say, I don't know, rather than trying to. To make something up. Sometimes they specifically might ask you a question that you don't know to see whether you have a tendency to lie or not. So if you don't know something, it's okay. Um, just say you, you don't know and, and move on from there. And I think if you can do all of those things, um, you should have a, a good, good um, interview and you should be, your, your visa should be issued. To give you an idea, um, of a statistic, we roughly every year we issue out uh, just for the fall, which we're doing now, 1,500 to 1,600 new I-20s and 2019s. 2019s are for the J-1 program. We issue about 1,500 of those um, every fall, and we have out of that two or three students that don't get their visas. So it's a very, very low percentage. Uh, and, you know, and if you've, um, especially if you've never come to the United States before and you're, you're coming in as a new student with all your financials um, in place and, and you do a good interview, your visa um, issues should relatively be a smooth process.